My name is Sister Maria Johanna, Order of St. Benedict. Uh, this is a day in my life. Well, I woke up extra early. The normal time is 4.30-ish. Um, and we start our prayers at 5.25 uh, for our vigils. And that goes till uh, about 6. Um, and we're welcoming, we welcomed 90 people today for lunch. So we had to go down and get things turned on uh, in the retreat house dining room area. First, and then we can come back up and eat breakfast quickly and then 625 uh, is lots and then we have that until 7 and then we have mass at 7 and then we normally have a, a Lexio time between mass and 840 uh, but because the students were arriving at that time and we had volunteers also coming at that time we had altered the schedule a little bit you know the, the fact that some people think you know we don't do a lot of activities or whatever, but we run the retreat house and we're always active uh, with that. So it's a very exciting life, actually. Um, so, you know, people, a lot of people are very astounded about everything that goes on here and, and what all takes place. This is, uh, I do our Paschal candles. <laughs> so um, I keep those up there as an inspiration. Um, for every year, and um, I was just working on a mock-up for this year's. So this is um, hopefully what this is going to kind of look like for this year. And it's all wax, and it's all painted wax or colored wax um, sheets that I just cut out and work with. We are always laughing and joking. We have a great sense of humor here. Um, yeah, we we kid and joke with each other. Um, we play games sometimes in the evenings. We watch some movies. We pray hard. We play hard. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, it's well balanced that way. <laughs> um, the rest of the day um, is going to be hopefully quiet ish. Uh, we're getting ready for St. Saint Scholastica. Uh, so, we have First Vespers of St. Scholastica. So, we're decorating the chapel getting flowers and stuff ready for that and then we'll get the refractory um, set for, for that feast day as well um, and then we'll have uh, vespers and then supper afterwards and then call one tonight at seven we try to be very flexible with our schedule um, mother refers to this as the uh, prayer schedule as the backbone if it's too rigid it breaks and doesn't function very well and if it's not there you're in a big large amoeba on the floor there's no structure to your life. So we have structure with the daily prayer, um, but if needed, we, we just move it up. Later, we don't really ever eliminate it. Um, we just adjust it. Our charism here is basically hospitality versus prayer. We, we have the full liturgy of the hours uh, chanted back and forth um, throughout the day, so we come together uh, for that. And then our other charism is, is the hospitality, welcoming guests. We work very hard to make it peaceful for other people. So it's uh, kind of what we like to do is, is uh, welcome people as Christ. And you know, you can come and you don't have to worry about anything. We have an extensive grounds around here. So we have um, a St. Walburga Chapel, which is made out of the stained glass windows. Um, uh, that depict the, the life of St. Walburga, who is our patron uh, saint. Then we have a life-size uh, Last Supper with Jesus. Um, so you can also go around and, and sit at the full table uh, with Jesus as well. You know, once I lived here for four years, it was the longest I'd been in any one place, in any one room. Uh, I've been here 17 years now, um, and it's wonderful. Uh, just, just the whole stability of, of life uh, with that. Is, so that's very surprising uh, for me. If anyone's thinking of, about religious life or discerning, um, don't be afraid to visit, call, communicate with anyone. Uh, it's better to check it out and then to wonder if I haven't had a vocation. We've had multiple people you know, say, oh, you know, I thought about becoming a sister, but no one could encourage me. And I always wondered if I should have joined an order. I always wondered. And the thing is, is try it. You know, it's better to know and 
saying, okay, it's not for me. And then you say, okay, I've tried that. You know, obviously maybe God isn't calling me for this. I'm being called in another way. Um, but it, it's all a discernment process. And it's, you know, if someone enters or thinking about entering, it's a communication between the person entering and the community. So the community says, okay, but we think you're fit. And you have to say, okay, I think I belong here. You know, and so it's, it's discernment on both sides. Um, with, with that, so it's um, back and forth, uh, but it, it's something that, um, you know, I was, was not encouraged from by my family to join and enter, um, so no matter, you know, but it's not their life, it's your life, um, and you need to live it, to live it, and how you think God is calling you to be closer to Him.